is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping. Today we are going to be talking about yard signs. I know everyone's thinking about that advertisement, how they're going to break into these new neighborhoods. You're going to be the new kid on the block, so you need to stand out. And yard signs are going to be one way that you can reel in those new customers. So enough talking, let's get into that video. <laughs> So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I work full time and run a lawn landscape company. So I'm going to bring you guys along the way, bringing some tips, tricks, and advice. Also be doing some product reviews. So again, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. All right, guys. So if you guys are anyone like myself, I'm the new kid on the block. I'm trying to break into these neighborhoods, but I don't have customers yet. So if I do score a new customer, I want to make sure I put my stamp on that property is so that way when people drive by they know exactly who did it so let's start off with what my sign used to look like All right, guys, so this is the sign that I had originally started off with. You know, when I first started out, I didn't really think too much about the signage. I just was like, well, you know, I'll put my business name, number, all that, and I'll put my services on the bottom, and hopefully that'll work out. But now that I'm a couple years into it, I've done a lot more research on advertisement and yard signs in specific. Though this sign doesn't look too bad, if you're just sitting there looking at it, you would think, oh, this sign looks great. But the thing to think about is how much does the text down on the bottom how much of that is going to be visible? How much of that is going to be read? When a person is driving, you know, 20, 35 mile an hour past this sign, you know, what are they going to see? Are they going to even be able to see that that's written on the bottom? Are they going to acknowledge it really? Or is mainly are they going to see this? There's just a lot going on on this sign. Yes, it is super informative because it does tell you what my services are. But when a car drives by this, I don't know how much they are really going to pick up on because there is so much verbiage. Verbiage? Is that a word? Verbiage? I don't know. We're going to use it. So much verbiage or wordage on the sign itself. So after using these for a couple of years, whatever, I finally just made the move on getting a different setup of a sign, something that is super simple. I think it looks great. There's a lot less verbiage. You know, I don't even know if verbiage is the word. Hold on, be right back. All right, so we're gonna figure this out. Verbiage is what it sounds like, a lot of words, verbs, noun, adjectives, and all the other parts of speech. Usually verbiage means a few too many words. Well, where's that sign at? Well, there's definitely a few too many words. Are you ready to see the new yard signs? <laughs> Here is our new yard sign. As you can see on this yard sign, it is super simple and straight to the point. There is a faded picture of one of the properties that we do maintain. Then on top, another job done by my business and the number straight to the point. So when we roll out of a job, we're definitely slapping these in the front yard. So I feel like whether this sign is in a neighborhood where they're doing 15, 20, 30 mile per hour, or they're on a main road doing 50, 55 mile per hour, they're definitely gonna be able to read this sign. It's gonna register in their brain of what this sign says. So here's a side-by-side -side view of our yard sign. This is the old and this is the new. I definitely think this one looks more professional. It's simple, it's straight to the point, and that's what I like a lot. I do like how this one does show our services, but with the picture on the background of this one, how it's a well-maintained yard, the landscaping looks great. I think this right here just shows like, hey, this is what your property can look like, give us a call. So if you guys are wondering who did these signs for me, I will put a link to them in the description down below. It is a local print shop that I go to. I think these came in like multiples of 10, so I ordered 10 of these and they do come with the stakes that enter into the holes right through there. Also, I will tag a video up in the top here of a video that Keith Kalfas did a good while ago. It was his thoughts and opinions on yard signs and how less is more. The reason why I think less is more when it comes to yard signs is like I said when a vehicle is passing by it needs to be something simple that the mind can register 
picture. So that way basically they can see like the call to action of that yard sign. Like these, another job done by Solo Cuts Landscaping and my phone number. I feel like when you look at my new sign compared to my old, my new sign you can just look at it from top to bottom and be done with it. I felt like on my old sign you would have to read here on the left, there on the right, there's some stuff in the middle, and then there's stuff on the bottom. I just felt like it was a lot going on. Alright guys, like I said, this is the yard sign that I'm going to be using this year. We will definitely be seeing how well it works out. I got these towards the end of the season last year, probably mid-fall time. So I'm anxious to see how these work out in springtime when we're doing our spring cleanups, landscape installs, and mulch installs. So like I said guys, if you are new, please consider subscribing. Be sure to hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. Also do me a favor, give this video a big thumbs up. Also guys, if you could do me a favor, drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of this yard sign. If there's any tips or tricks that you guys have that you use when you're designing your yard sign to make sure that it looks the best it possibly can. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest.